Hey you guys, welcome to the first episode of Mom Don't Listen. I have to block you and we're not allowed to be friends. They're a fucking... Did they saw that? Okay, you guys. So Justin, take it away. <laughs> take it away. And I was eating her out while he was face fucking her. Ew. Mom Don't Listen. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mom Don't Listen. Um, Buckle up. It's hard to announce when we don't say the episode name, so just welcome back. You guys, we have an event coming up on Saturday. Um, not to start this off with a plug, but like go to Anna O'Brien's on Saturday at 12 p.m. if you want to meet us. And maybe if you want to get drunk and play some games, cruise. <laughs> because die is life. Die is life. Justin, I feel like our friendship was kind of built on that, yeah. that game. What? I used to run, me and Trevor, me and Trevor, you know who you are, would run tables. Trevor has the nastiest curve spin throw that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I don't even know what that means, but hey, Trevor, are you single? I want that <laughs> curve throw. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, he is single. Is and he's he always been cheated on in every single one of his relationships. I would never cheat on you. Every single one? No comment. Ooh, I don't know what this means. The tea is hot. Anyway, do you know one of his exes? I do. We is love her. Like we love her. Yeah, we love what? her. But Justin and I, when we first met, he would invite me over to like his house parties or like little gatherings and stuff. Like him and Andrew would be like hanging out, barbecuing, and they'd be like playing beard eye and like introduce me to that game because at the college we met at, that game was Why? so 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 present every single front yard had a beard eye table customized i can see it in my like brain. painted they still do it they, they do when yeah I it's a to, huge thing yeah when i visited claire they had like the volleyball court and there was like a dye yes. table like, every single house men kill me they get so fixated on shit and <laughs> like what what is so and you know what kills me about dyes they will not teach you how to play it <laughs> the amount of times that I've been mm -hmm. like, I want to play. And they're like, no, <laughs> you can't play dot. I'm like, I can do many things. It's just like a waste of time because you're going to like throw it five times and not land anything. And then you're just going to get annoyed and you're going to give up. Well, That's what happens every single time. And you also got to well, be able to know. throw I've it never high tried. enough. I've never tried. I can throw very far. I was third base in softball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So don't <laughs> underestimate me. I just get annoyed. It's also like football. Like you're different because you're like our roommate. But like every time I'd be like, how does football work? No guy would ever take the time to explain it ever. I'd be like, what? what's going on? And they were just like, oh, it's a first and 10. <laughs> I don't get like not <laughs> explaining it to them. Like I will definitely explain and break it down to you. But like after I'm teaching you and you're not good and you don't pick up on it, I'm like, okay, just... Let's, I want to play. Scoot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys get too uppity, I feel like. Everyone just wants to play. Right. And they're like, we don't have time for this. The sun's going get down. Get the girls out of here. <laughs> the Wait. sun's going down. Wait, your dad never taught you about football? I would always ask him things, but I don't really know. He was he played hockey growing up, so he'd mm. always teach me about like hockey stuff. Wait, so did my dad? Did he play ice hockey yeah, or roller ice hockey? Mm. Did your dad play ice? I think my dad did roller. My dad was a goalie. Did my dad do ice? Now I gotta call Ed. And he'd beat people up. What? Yep. That's so fun. Oh my I'm god. Like, I'm like, that's why I love someone to protect me because my father protected me. Mm. I'm like, yeah. Aren't you going to? Beat, beat him to him a pulp? Up. <laughs> or are you just gonna let him stare at me and wing? <laughs> you <laughs> shred him? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you just say? <laughs> are you gonna juice him and shred him? <laughs> are you gonna put his hand in the blender? Like, can you please do something? <laughs> Thank you. That's why when I went on the date with the guy and we went to the bar after, and that guy was like hitting on me and he was doing nothing, I'm like, are you just gonna stand there? Like, I need you to fight for me. Yeah. I'm a princess. 
I need someone that can like throw down if it comes to that because mm-hmm. like if it comes head to head like we need to win yeah and i'm not <laughs> fighting he's on his own <laughs> what i'm not fighting with my boyfriend oh my god you're kidding you would fight with your boyfriend i feel like if it came down to it yeah i, would have to. I mean i wouldn't i probably wouldn't fight a guy see that's the thing is like i shouldn't have to jump in like no, my brothers would I'm never saying. let me yeah, jump in like because they would beat him up but like in regards to like jumping in like if the girlfriend tries to come in and like start swinging on my boyfriend i'm gonna be like okay sis shut the fuck up you know then i step in but like if it's just, no if it's a guy on guy he should be able to handle himself that's embarrassing yeah, that's, if he can't no please don't ask for my help no. thank you um if the girlfriend started coming at me i'd probably be like oh i don't fight <laughs> <laughs> i have no dead ass and then if you tried to hit me i'd be like okay you can obviously i can't do anything about you hitting me but you the police will be called <laughs> my lawyers will be called like i'm not fighting you know? <laughs> my thing is is like i'm i don't like to fight or like confrontation or anything like that but i feel mm-hmm. like if it does get to that point like i fight to kill <laughs> like you i see red i would never carry like a pocket knife or anything on me because if something broke out like i would i would i would start stat like i will fight to kill not the stabbing i have a little <laughs> one time <laughs> one time i was like really i listened to a lot of true crime and i was like oh shit like i need one of those knuckle not the brass Mm, knuckles but the ones with like the cat claws on them to like Mm -hmm. really hit someone or like gouge their eyes out so i found like i was too scared to get the like four finger one so i got the one finger one (laughs) (laughs) and the blade was dead ass this long it was like two inches probably long and i showed my dad i was like dad Look at this blade I got, and it's like pink, uh-huh. <laughs> it's like a singular <laughs> shank. And he was like, "Gracie, that's gonna do absolutely nothing. If you stab someone with that, they're just gonna get pissed off." Yeah. And I was like, "Really? This wouldn't kill someone? Like, it didn't <laughs> register in my brain that it needs to be like a long mm-hmm. knife, like to like stab Go through." In. Yeah, like I was just gonna be like, "Get no. away from me! You have to stab, twist." Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. No, I didn't grow up with like fighting ever. that little thing would just leave scratches <laughs> i know it like was wait, so stupid i think wait. i still have it too. growing up my brothers would give me like pocket knives and they'd be like do you know how to use it and i'd be like yeah they'd be like okay flip it and i'd flip it and then grab my wrist and be like what are you gonna do if they point the knife at you? i'm like oh my god oh my god never Nothing. mind they like yeah and would put it at me and i'm like okay i don't know how to use it i do not know if some if i had a knife and someone got a hold of it or like got my wrist like I can't. I'm so. If someone weak. gets my wrist, I'm it's so over. Weak. Like that thing is going <laughs> at me. Ever <laughs> tried to get out of someone holding your wrist? It's impossible. My little sister yeah, would do brothers. it every single time we would fight. She would just grab my wrist, and then I'd just be like <laughs> immobile after that. I'm like, <laughs> see, <laughs> so hard. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, this is enough about fighting. fighting. <laughs> We do not condone violence no. at all. We're whatsoever. just hypothetical. <gasps> Have but you we, guys seen that? Sorry. No, I was going to say we do promote self defense yes, as a woman. Exactly. Exactly. We need to defend ourselves. These men, I don't know. They scare me. But what? that girl that got acid thrown on her two days I ago know. outside the mall we go to. Stop. Oh, that's, that's literally so He's scary. on the run right now. <gasps> what? Yes. Oh, hell. Hide. He's, he's Everyone, in his early hide. 20s. Yeah. Early There's 20s? He can't get puss. Guarantee. He's mm. in my ex. <laughs> Just kidding. Kidding, okay. Anyway, anyway, go back to what you were saying. I was going to say, have you guys seen that documentary on Netflix called American... Horror story? <laughs> no, no. American, Wait, American something. Someone just asked me this. And it's based, not based in Huntington Beach, but he drops her off in Huntington Beach. Ain't no fucking it's way. It's fucking crazy. Okay, they did not tell me that, but my coworkers just asked crazy. me if I watched it. American it's based something. on a true story. American Nightmare. Yes, yes. Because I was like, it sounds like American not. Horror Story, but it's not. No, American Nightmare. Yes. It is fucking crazy. It's about this woman who gets kidnapped. There's a whole debacle debate on if mm. she really did or not. Because there was like infidelity. They don't know if she's like trying to be like gone girl or whatever. Mm. So she gets kidnapped and it ends up, they kidnap her in like Northern California and then she shows up in Huntington Beach. It's wild. You have to watch it. It was crazy. I was like, 
What? Me and Maddie Wait. watched it. Do you know her name? No. I forget. How long ago was this? This was in 20... I think they said 2015. Imagine if we like went to school with her or like something like that. No, she was older. She's oh, way older oh. than us. I think she's like 40, but... Oh, oh um, what? I know, That's but I was thinking... Gnarly. I was like, holy shit, like we were just like down the road because they dropped her yeah. off on like Utica. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Like, I lived ass. on Utica. <laughs> yeah, dead ass. I was like, holy fuck. I was just like chilling at school while this bitch is getting like kid, like this 2015, kidnapper. I was probably ditching class you're Utica probably walking is right by the her. street that i would take to ditch class it's probably right there hanging out saying hey trying not to get caught yeah <laughs> I the, didn't even a know a part in the documentary though that makes no sense to me is so she gets kidnapped right but they never like go over the fact that she shows up with a packed bag like she shows up to her parents house in huntington beach with like a duffel bag and they never like acknowledge that and i'm like hello why did she have a bag packed well, how long ago was it after she was like abducted? He dropped her off. Okay, yeah, that's weird. I'm like, why do you have a backpack? The dots are not. And they connected. never said anything about it. I'm like, that's like that's address the duffel bag. Yeah, there's a missing piece. There to is. That puzzle. I was like, are we not gonna? Mm, I was scary. waiting for that, and they never did it. I hate hearing stuff like that because I'm just like, oh, that's actually real life. It's literally all I all I consume is true crime. Okay, Mm-mm. on another note. Did you see? Oh, there is a girl from Huntington on The Bachelor. Who? Do I know her? She's 23. You might. What's her name? I forget. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Someone, Wait, my coworkers oh. asked. They asked if I knew her because they're like, oh, there's these sisters from Huntington Beach on The Bachelor. I was like, oh, I don't watch that. Sisters? Yeah, but I only saw one. What? But yeah, or there's like two girls on there from Huntington. But yeah, yeah are look you looking it up, it up right see. now? Where the fuck is it? Miami, San Diego. What's that girl's name? God. Do you know you her? You know yes. her? Wait. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you know she her? To, yeah. Wait, we know her? No, no I, you know her. How do you know her? Wait, yeah. Santa Barbara, Isla Vista. Huh? Wait, no. Wait who? This girl. <gasps> okay, I thought she looked familiar. Mm-hmm. Is that the, I thought she looked she familiar, from? too. As, As girlfriend, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. She looked like one of them bitches. Yeah, they were in all... In that one sorority. Oh, my God. That's wild. There's a lot of Hawaii Wait, girls. Yeah. Wait, you guys. I got to tell you something. You want to know her hmm. nickname? I applied for Love Island, Hawaii. Shut up. Yes. That's such a vibe. <laughs> Dad, please. Fingers I crossed. Hope. Huntington Beach. Taylor. Yeah, Wait, that's her name. She kind of does look familiar. Taylor. Huh. I don't know her though. Off the We're top rooting of. for you, girl. Wait, what were you gonna say? Like, what was her nickname? Crazy. They heard like they used to call her like uh, Zor, because her last name's like something like that. But there was always like a joke because she would always give head, <gasps> like Zor, Zornator or something like that. I forget. We love like, girls that give head. <laughs> we do. Good for you. You We're know, rooting for you too. Was like this volleyball player, one time she was in my house, hitting my volleyball in the house, and I was like, "Can you not? You're blacked out and breaking everything right now, like literally breaking shit." And you think you're so fucking good? Oh, I'm a state champion. <laughs> blacked out. And she was dating oh, the one of the that's like, the presidents tea. or like some high up frat guy, and they're like this little power couple that everybody thought was so hot. You're really fucking airing this bitch out. Because <laughs> she was, came into my house and she would always be like, no, uh, I can't. I can't no. <laughs> if Justin doesn't we'll like see. you, he does not like you. We'll but if, if he fucks with you, he loves you. I wonder if she's problematic. She was that. They would always cheat on each other. Like he would always hook up with other girls. And she would like, and then they would have that whole fake Instagram relationship. Oh. She's about to be after she sees this podcast. Dude, she's about to get booted. Sorry, girl. Are they still like filming? I think it just came out with the first episode. It was like last night. Everyone sent yeah. it in the like group chat. They're probably not filming anymore. Now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Because it, it's Actively not like filming. Lo- yeah, yeah, Love yeah, yeah, Island. Yeah. Like they like on Love Island. They like film and edit at the same time. It's crazy. I've, I've never seen that show either. You could kind of tell though, low key. I was watching with Brayden one night and like. The editing and stuff, you could tell, like, it's not the best. Mm. Which one For, like, 2024, it's like, mm. Which one were you watching? Oh, Lord. The UK one or something. 
Not UK. I hear that's Don't a good one. Don't listen to him. No. He's he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> UK's amazing. <laughs> no, it was good. It, it had my attention. Like it, I was drawn into it. We both were. But like, were they like, babe, yeah. babe? Honestly, it's like just like I don't know why you don't want to go with me when I ask you. That's what they Wait, talk about. You're like. really good at that, Gracie. <laughs> I've seen clips on TikTok, and like that's exactly what they sound like. But I've never no, seen like a full lying. episode. I saw the Hawaii Big Island one. Yeah, that huh? one probably sucks. I've never heard that's of that. That's the one I saw. That's the one I watched. Wait. I watched the UK with yeah. you. Yes, and it was amazing, it was wasn't good. it? Yeah. It, was, it was amazing, huh? It's literally the best show ever. Love Island, UK. Start on season five. You will be addicted forever. It was good. You will. Well, I'm kind of sad because I had a whole thing I wanted to do, but it's all on my phone. <laughs> and I didn't, like, I totally forgot I was filming. But I was going to say, I have big news. <gasps> she got accepted. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't what? know that yet. What it's going to be in like March, May time. Okay. Um, for grad school exception letters is what we're talking about. But my type has changed. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to tell me that I don't have a type, but I usually do. It's like tall, dark, and handsome. Oh. I don't know what's happening, but like what? I'm kind of into white boys. Come to my side. It's great. I like don't know why I've never liked like I'm talking like blonde hair. Mm. I know, and I never liked blonde. Who? Who's the lucky guy? There's this guy. I asked um my friend Shay's roommate's friend. Gotcha. Or friend boyfriend. Oh, okay. My friend's roommate's boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I was like, can you set me up with someone? Like I know you got hot friends. Okay. And now you do. And he showed me this guy. He was like, what's your type? And then Maddie was like, she likes like dark complexion, like either tan or darker. Like I do. It's who I, mm-hmm. it's where I go for usually. And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, well, I have like a pretty cute white boy, in my friend group. And I was like, he's like, all the girls see you saw it. And I'm like, let me see. I'll be the judge. Absolutely stunning we need a name oh my god we could bleep it out he's so pretty like i literally can't and you know what's crazy is i met him when i went to go pick up i'll just bleep it i'm editing this one i went to go pick up at anna o'brien's shout out that's where we're gonna be (gasps) and i was sitting outside and i see this man this gorgeous man walk by and i just honked my horn because i was like i have to say something (laughs) i'm like i have to this is my chance i was like and he like (laughs) turned his head and i was like hi come over here and he was like and like walked over with like his hot ass group of friends like all of them were gorgeous all of them were gorgeous and i was like um he was like, what's up? And he was like leaning in my car. I was like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, just, I was with Layla and I turned to Layla and I go, why are they all hot? And they all laughed. And I was like, why do I have no riz? I have absolutely no riz. No, you do when, when the guys are into you and they're not hot. Yes. And then when they're hot, it's like, oh my God, I can't even remember my remember name. that time with Mariah when I literally was Went like. mute. <laughs> yes. Mariah was like. <laughs> Oh, this hot ass guy. We were sitting at a coffee shop. This <laughs> hot ass, tall, again blonde, white boy, walked by. Was he? And I blonde? was like, yes. I, I really was, don't remember him. Oh, he was so hot. I do know he was hot, but like I cannot. He was gorgeous. Blonde, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. He was tall, hot. He was. Whatever. He was. Um, Mariah picks him out well. She does. I've, but she's also like drop dead gorgeous. So like that's. Justin thinks. Her? Yeah. Have you seen this girl? She deserves to be on every reality TV show. <laughs> have angel wings the whole nine yards. She, <laughs> Literally. Oh, she she's, deserves, oh my God. Like uh, Tom Cruise or like someone really yes. fucking hot. Like, like Brad Pitt. Yes. Yeah, that'd be so crazy. But anyways, this guy was like so fucking hot. And I was like, holy shit. Who is that man? You know how I do in mm-hmm. public. I was just like, oh my God, that guy's so gorgeous. And she was like, oh my God, it's my friend. And she was like, blah, 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 come over here. And he walked over and I literally couldn't make eye contact. I was like, yeah. I was literally staring at the floor. She's like, this is my friend Gracie. And I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I like didn't want to say it. I was like, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not saying anything to this man. And I didn't. No, she I barely was like, word. peeked up like, at him. So, what are you guys doing today? And I literally was like, and Mariah, tell him what we're doing. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm not talking to this man. There's no way. So moral of the story, I have zero riz. So to add on to my zero riz, I DM'd him because I was supposed to go to like this premiere thing on Friday mm -hmm. with all those people. And like, I was gonna try to like naturally meet him. And Wait, like, this past Friday? This, this, this upcoming this Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you going? No, it got canceled. Uh -huh. I know, so annoying. So I'm like, fuck. So I DM'd him. <laughs> I DM'd him and I said, Let's get to know each other, comma, his name. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Gracie, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Gracie, a man could take that in so many ways and not all good ways. I know. It was a really bad slide in. I was trying to do something new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? wait. Well, how did, it, how did it end up? He didn't respond. Did he open it? No, I don't know. It said invitation sent. I was like, oh no, not the invitation. You did you know if it says invitation sent, you can't unsend it? Shut up, what? How so do they I'm set that up for the rest of my life? Do you guys have any like pointers for me? Mm -mm. Just go on the first date and then yeah. I I don't think I have risk <gasps> either. What? Guess who came into my work today? Oh no. Is it Oompa? No. Is it one of my ex-boyfriends? It's engine outside. And, oh! <gasps> Wait, huh? <gasps> Wait, huh? <gasps> it's the guy who said, sup, oh. throat, goat. <laughs> oh, no, one of Devin's ex hookups. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, mm -hmm. not the what's up, throat, goat. Mm -hmm. That is so disrespectful. Like, let me I just know. tell you. I'm like, I know I give a great head, but stop. Don't call me throat goat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, that's just not what I want to be called ever. That's, I got my revenge. It's okay. That's like straight out of Blue Mountain State. Throat goat. Because they only had a goat. Remember the goat? <laughs> the mascot goat that they had? Wait, why did you guys say I reminded you of Blue Mountain State last time? Oh, yeah. Because you... Oh, because you sacrificed the virgin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's literally a scene out of Blue Mountain State. <laughs> okay, maybe that's just my life. I don't know. If Devin was in a show, it would be that, yeah. honestly. Right, Ch fuck Club Island. Cheerleaders. Oh, got my cheer team. uniform. Football team. Party town. College town. True. All right, Sacrifice I'm hitting the all virgin. the check marks. I need to goats. watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Love goats. <laughs> Sup, throat goat. Oh um, my God, the anyways. way I would have blocked his number so fast. Right. Get oh. fucking lost, bitch. Let's tell the story. What'd you do? What'd you do? <clears throat> Didn't I already tell the story? Did you? I don't know. I thought so. I have no idea. I can't remember what we've talked about. Well, he told me that and um, he was like, want to hang out? And I was like, yeah. Cruise. Yeah. I was like, Devin, play it cool. Play it cool. I was like, yeah. So I know he lives 30 minutes away. So I sent him an address on our street nearby and said, here's my address and turn my phone off. And he sat outside revving his engine in front of our neighbor's house. Maybe that's why they called the city on us for our trash <laughs> cans being out for too long. <laughs> We're probably pissing Maybe. them the fuck off, honestly. That's yeah. probably why. Yeah, and Justin was like, Devin, who the fuck is outside? And he knew the car. And so he would say, he was like, Devin, He's and my phone was on D and D too, so I like turned it off. Then I put it on D and D, and then like so I could read his text. And he's like, "Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't just drive all the way to, <laughs> you know, where you live. Like, are you?" Serious? But also, like this guy deserves it. Like he's a total scrub. Oh yeah. My God. Anywho, fuck that kid. He's weird. Yeah, I gave him major attitude. Yeah. So wait, in. what happened when he came in? So he obviously knew it was you. So he called in his order. It was two double burgers with two chicken bacon ranch fries so it was either for him and his significant other <laughs> or for him and his sister sus, yeah <laughs> well okay mm -hmm. did he tip oh you did not check that he didn't because he paid with a hundred dollar bill are you fucking serious he didn't tip no. broke why the fuck does he have a hundred dollar bill because he, he's a drug dealer yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, many reasons. That's how I met him. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought he was a valet guy. That too. That too. You can. You gotta have multiple jobs in this yeah, world. Yeah, passive on. income. It is 2024. 
Anyways, he calls in his order and he's like, could I get two double doubles and two chicken bacon ranch fries? But on one of the doubles, could I get no lettuce, no tomato, no onions, and no pickles? And I was like, huh? So nothing on it. So nothing, just cheese bun and meat. Sounds like my order. <laughs> like, grow something. Cheese bun and meat, that's how he likes it. <laughs> Anyway, so he's like, I was like, could I get a name for the order? He says his name. Doesn't click in my head because I mean, I've came across that name a hundred times. And it's yeah, it's very basic. Yeah, very basic but name. With a man? Yes. Yeah. I have a guy friend out here mm-hmm. with that same name. Who we, yeah, went to high school with. Anyways, this man walks in, instantly make eye contact. <gasps> and he smiles and I just give him like a, like no smile, no hey, no welcome, no nothing. I just give him a head nod. And then he's like one person in back from paying. So then I'm helping that person. They pay. He comes up. He's like, what's up? Like trying to start conversation. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was mute. <laughs> I was just, I just repeated his order back, told him the price. And then he just gave me a hundred dollars, gave him his change back. And that was it. And I gave him his food. Wait. It was awkward. That reminds me. The regular that comes into my work. Yes. I haven't seen him in a super, have I? I don't think I've ever told this story on the podcast. I don't think so. Why? I haven't told the story of my regular. Go. Tell it. So Can basically what happened was, no, I did one time. We never ended up airing it. <gasps> mm. So basically what happened was I had this regular that would come in to my job. And he was cute. Was. He was cute. But I was talking to someone the whole time, like the beginning of like meeting him. Then me and the guy I was talking to broke up. So I was like, you know what? What's up with you? So we would like flirt at work, you know what I mean? And then uh, it was just like flirty, I guess. He like asked me to like hang out once. Like we never ended up hanging out. But then one time me and Justin were leaving the club and I hear my name being called and I was like, who the fuck is calling my name? (laughs) Can I please tell my perspective real fast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So we all went out. Everybody went home, and Gracie wanted to keep going out. So I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. So then we ended up going back to the club that we'd left. Shout out CJ. He got us so drunk. So drunk. And then the bouncer went up to Gracie and was like, these people want you in their VIP. (laughs) And then she's like, only if he could come. And they were like, no guys. And she was like, well, then I'm not coming. And he's gay. Like, let him come. So we end up getting to VIP in CJ from Chicago. Shout out to you. We love you. Shy town baby. Let's go. (laughs) Was literally (laughs) buying us shot after shot after shot. He was trying to get me fucked up. I was too. I was (laughs) like, you know what, CJ? Let's get fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm then, down. <laughs> four in the morning rolls by, and I'm like, Gracie, I gotta go. Like, we've been out and about four? since like, yes, it was so, late. It was so freaking late. Like, I was like, fine. I, I know, we'll leave. I'm like, I tap out. Like, I'm fucked up. Like, I'm tired. I gotta go. So we walk out of the club, and oh my god, I literally thought it was one of her fans. I'm not even kidding. He was behind like the um gates yeah. that like you know the clubs use to get in or like music festivals like to get mm-hmm. in and whatever those metal gates mm-hmm. he was behind one of those like a fan <laughs> it's giving fan vibes such fan vibes <laughs> all you hear is gracie 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 <laughs> and i'm like i'm like so drunk i'm like, like am i hallucinating what's happening gracie's also like, low-key <laughs> blind she's like who is that i know i literally was like who is that? I can't even see. And, and then, then she I, goes like, oh, that's so-and-so. And I was like, oh, she knows him. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, my God, what's up? Like, what the fuck? I did not expect to see him at all. And I'm hammered. Hammered. So we go up to him. And, like, I already had ordered the Uber. And Gracie's like, do you want to take us home? And I was like, fuck, okay, let me cancel the Uber real fast. <laughs> yeah. Cancel the Uber. This dude takes us home. He <laughs> takes us to Jack in the Box. So let's not forget that. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I was like, I'm so part. hungry. Can we please get food? And he's like, yeah, the only place that's open is Jack in the Box. I'm like, okay, take me there. So we go to Jack in the Box. We get food. I eat. We pull over to eat. I'm like, can I just fucking go home? You know when you're so drunk and you just want to shove your face and be fucking disgusting with it? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm talking dipping your whole arm into a ranch bucket, yeah. pulling it out, licking it, and then eating the whole entire burger. Like, I was so fucking hungry. 
and I was like trying to eat cute because like yeah. I I'm sorry I'm so bad at eating in front of men like I get nervous mm-hmm. and I don't want to look weird so I'm like taking little bites and my stomach's like <laughs> trying to soak up all the alcohol every bite so I eat my sandwich and then I'm like um can you stop by 7-Eleven right there? Like, I need to get some bags. And he's like, oh, what do you need to get? And I was like, oh, just three family-sized bags of hot Cheetos <laughs> in every single font that I can find. <laughs> I got Flaming Hot Funyuns, Hot Cheeto Puffs, and fries, I think. Mm-hmm. And Hot Cheeto Fries, if you don't know. And Justin told me I had to put one back because <laughs> that I was going to have severe heartburn in the morning, which I did and so i get we get back and he pulls up to my house and says where should i park and at that moment i literally shitted myself because i have a really hard time with confrontation and i could not be like you're not coming inside so i was like oh what and he was like didn't you want to cuddle because i i guess i said i wanted to cuddle in my blackout i don't remember doing that but he said i did so i mean it's not it's not far it's off. not far i probably did but then by the time i got there anyways if i change my mind like don't come in and i was obviously like no like no i don't really i didn't say no but i was like oh if you want like in that tone yeah she didn't make it like very like oh my god yes like it was more like ooh, ooh like it mm. got really quiet i was like oh um and if a guy did that to me and was like oh um if you want i would have been like oh no it's fine like just get out of my car now and i believe also it was like five in the morning it was so fucking late slash early in the morning i was like i just want to go to bed like <laughs> So he doesn't really get the hint. So he just comes up. We He sleeps in my bed. I swear to God, I swear on my mom's life, nothing happened. I literally was like, do not fucking touch me. At this moment, I'm like, I'm so pissed. My hot Cheetos are in the fucking living room. I can't eat them. Like, uh, my God. And so <laughs> I'm just like, it still makes me angry. Just, I don't know. And then he tries to cuddle me. I'm like, absolutely not. Get off. Like, no. I go to bed. I wake up to a UFC fight blasting in my ear. And I'm like, who the fuck is playing UFC? I wake up and he's still there. I look at my phone. It's 11. I'm like, Mm -hmm. dude. Mm -hmm. 11? Mm -hmm. Dude. I didn't know what to do. I hear. He was sober that night. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't know what to do. Yeah. Hungover. No. I literally woke up and was like, what the fuck? And so Justin like texts me and is like, is he still there or something like that? And he's looking over my shoulder and I type out, yes, and he will not leave, send. Mm -hmm. Because before he would text me, I was like, okay, like I have so much to do. Like I got out my laptop and started like doing random shit on my, I'm like, oh, I need to do this, that, the other. Like I have so much to do. Like get the fuck out of my house. And I guess I learned a lesson, like, just be fucking honest and tell him to get the fuck out next time. But I just, like, didn't have the heart to do it. And then finally, Justin texted me. I said, Annie will not leave. And he, like, laughed. He was like, ha, so funny. And I was like, no, I'm being dead ass. So then I run to Justin's room. I'm like, help me. And by the time I got out of Justin's room, he was, like, putting on his shoes and leaving. And I was like, bye, see you at work. And he was like, ha, no. To make matters worse, I saw him walking down our long-ass driveway. (laughs) I took the megaphone and went... Bye. super loud and he turned around and went like threw up a peace sign so anyways i took his order the other day for the <gasps> first time since that oh how was that i've seen him like three times come in before that encounter and i would just like act like i was doing something or i would just be like busy doing something else or like shay knows and chloe knows mm. so they would like grab reg for me and so i was on reg this time and I was like, it's going to be so fucking obvious if I'm like, Chloe or Shay, come here. And Shay comes up and is like, oh, I have to like, she's such a home girl. She was like, I need to um, charge blah, blah, blah for this or something like that. Like trying to like get in, like mm-hmm. do it. And I was like, it's fine. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. He comes up. What's up, G? Fist bumps me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm dead ass. I was like, what can I get for you? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll call your name when it's ready. Like, literally, I was like, no energy at all. Mm. Did you give him a fist bump? Yeah. I was like, yeah. Well, I couldn't sit there and be like, I should have been like, 
get away from me. But I didn't. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, awkward as fuck. What's his order? I don't even remember. That's how irrelevant he is. Literally don't remember. I just like don't like people in my bed. Yeah. You know this. Mm-hmm. I don't like people in my bed that I don't want in my bed. Get out of my bed. It's my bed, not yours. It's your little sanctuary. <laughs> yes. I like, just like can't. No, when someone else is in my bed, it like taints my space. Right. Unless I like like them, you know, like my friends, like yeah. stuff, like people I like hang with in bed all day. Yeah. Not get fucking annoyed with them, but like. Ugh. Yeah, like if one of you guys slept in my bed, it would not right. bother me. No. If Maddie sleeps in my bed, it doesn't bother would me. Would not blink twice. Ava slept in my bed all the time, doesn't bother me. But like someone I don't want to be mm-hmm. there, it's like I get like it's like, almost ugh. as if I like fucked them. Like yeah. I feel gross the next day. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like all up in your space. And they're like breathing on you. Breathing my air. Uh, I can't. Disgusting. Anyways, on that note, are we talking to anyone? What mm. happened with the blonde guy? Well, he didn't ever answered me. Pizza guy hasn't fucking talked to me. French Told boy. Told you. Well, me and French boy went on a date. <laughs> oh. It was okay. Hey, friend. Dang. I am team French. Just wait. Well, he's yeah. coming over. Layla isn't, so you guys can hash that out when you meet her on Saturday before the Dyes Life. He wants to go to the Dyes Life thing. Period, yeah, as like, he no, should. He's not coming. No. He can't even no. get in. He's oh, 19. Yeah. He can't get no, in. No, he's going to ruin. No, don't. No. He's, he's going to make me laugh. I already no, know. He is, but like, he's going to get mad when guys are all up on Gracie. There's going to be hot guys there. Gracie's, Gracie's going to be giving her number out. She cannot have a cock block. Number. Please do not give your number out to any of these people that are attending this event, Gracie, for the love of God, <laughs> I do never not said do I this would. to yourself. All of these men are no good. Do not. No I'm, good. I'm her agent. No, you're no, gonna I'm be her agent. Number out, but <laughs> we're all going to be there, okay? No judgment. It's a judgment free zone. Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> our, our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to our first sponsor, Planet Fitness. Ten dollars a month. <laughs> Ten dollars a month for some sweaty balls in your <laughs> I love these pair of sweaty balls. Have you guys seen that guy on TikTok that wears the leggings? Yes, he just popped up on my TikTok today when I was watching the basketball game. He's so fucking crazy. What? He like will oh, go. Sorry. He'll literally like deadlift. He wears these gray Calvin, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein what's the word capri leggings are they sheer they're they're not sheer but you can see his sw- his ball sweat like it's fucking insane <laughs> is it for the views is that why he does it he has to be yeah okay it has okay. to be but this man is like a masculine man like he's a huge big wait dude. No, look him up beard like facial hair everything and he literally will like do butt workouts what the fuck okay never mind i can't find it but i'll show you later it's literally insane he looks crazy and there's like people around him he's there like at broad daylight like and he bends right over in front of the camera and his literal ass sweat is showing like it's crazy does he ever get kicked out of these places i don't know but his ass is so fat it's huge (laughs) huge but i think he might because like in the video that i saw today there's a security guard in the background so I don't know if it's there to protect him or like if other people in the gym that are like on roids, mm-hmm. like get the, you know, cause you know, it could be very masculine like that. It's kind of sad though. He's just yeah. trying to wear his leggings, like let him live. <laughs> and he puts a little towel in front of his wiener. So it's not too much. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> all the comments are so funny they're like that little napkin is doing God's oh work. My it's God. so funny. <laughs> I have to show you. I can't find it. Anyways, well, are you talking to anyone? What's your vibe? No, I don't really know. Just letting it come to you. No, don't call me. <laughs> don't text me. <laughs> don't come to like, me, please. Yeah, no, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm working on me right now. Good. Um, yeah, because... That's yeah, the vibe. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I I can't say it on the pod. And you guys, I showed someone a photo of someone I was talking to, and they said he looked like a school shooter, and I it really humbled me. I see it. <laughs>
I mean. But anyway, so that humbled me. I don't know. I got to work on myself. I don't really want to hook up with anyone. I don't want to do a situation ship. I don't know. Kind of going off what we said with our ins and outs. Yeah. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm working on me. I mean, if I fall in love in the middle of that, okay, cool. I'll yeah. probably try to, like, self-sabotage, but. No, you uh, won't. We're healing. We're healing. But, yeah, I'm definitely not looking for it. Dude. What about, what about? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> you guys know my situation. There's nothing to we explain. We do? Yeah, I lo- the last on the last episode where I, why I was missing and who I was with and all of that. So you guys <laughs> who are watching, you know what I'm up to. Nothing has changed. Mm. I'm still living great. Well, mm. nothing has changed. Interesting. Okay. Well, on that note, you guys, I'm so excited for our event on Saturday. Me too. If I register and play, like. Should I? Justin, I think you should run it back <laughs> to Isla Vista days. I have not played no, in you, over two years. No. He's you rusty, know. you guys. He's rusty. Bro. Okay. I will literally be so hype for you, though. I'll be like in your ear like, let's fucking go. Like, Justin, I yes, swear yes. We'll be your cheerleaders. Beat these bitches up, please. Guys, should it. I bring the megaphone? Yes. Okay. A thousand percent. Grace, what, you're gonna have to smoke that in like, too. <laughs> I might have that like little beginner, not beginner luck, but like that, like you know, mm, haven't played a long time. But, yeah, like, that, that little, little mental block. <laughs> Do it. Represent the gays. I thought you were gonna say the gang, like us. <laughs> Represent the girls and the gays <laughs> at die. Yeah. Please. Tony played for the first time and she fucking won. She ran that shit. That was her first time. So if yeah, if my man's comes, just I can't rusty. embarrass myself. No, but if I get okay. knocked out the first game, fine. I'll then be he like, can't come. Oh, he's a skyscraper. He could throw. He could throw a dia. I'm excited to see who's gonna be there. I'm literally gonna be so drunk. If you see me, I'm gonna be fucked up. I can't wait. Unless I have heartburn that day, and then I won't be able to drink that much. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Well, just take something. We'll go away. Um. On that note, you guys have anything to say? Nope. Die is life. <laughs>